Hey guys, welcome back to Adventures in Aviators, the best kept secret on the internet. Today we are continuing our Hiking at Mauritius series and we are at Fernie Valley in the southeast corner of Mauritius. For those of you new to our channel, we rank all of our hikes in five categories. Those are location, trail traffic, wildlife, facilities, and the payoff. And we rank each of those categories on a scale of one to five dodo birds. Five dodo birds. And if you enjoy this kind of content, making your own adventure, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video. All right, let's jump right into it. Where is Fernie Valley? It is in the southeast of Mauritius. It's very, very close to Myborg and the airport. But it is a distance from the resorts up north in Grand Bay, uh, over an hour, more like an hour and 20 minutes. There's just not an easy way to get here from the north. And similarly, about an hour and 15 minutes from Le Morne. So it is down in the corner, but if you're staying near Myborg, it is real close to you. And it's right here, it's on the coastal road B28, just north of Myborg. Unlike some of our other hikes, this is a proper nature park. And so you actually have signs and a facility here as well. So it is nice and easy to find. It's hard to miss once you get in the area. And for that reason, I'm gonna give this four out of five dodo birds. For trail traffic, you might think since this is a nature park that you would have a lot of people in this area. And you can definitely find and expect to have some people on the path here, but it's in a part of the island that isn't nearly as popular for tourists. Myborg is a little bit of a local center, and so we really didn't see many. We came nice and early in the morning, as we always recommend, and really had the place to ourselves. It was a real treat to experience this really lovely valley with all these mountains all around and have it just to ourselves. So I'm going to give this the illustrious 5 out of 5 dodo birds. 5 dodo birds. Now the potential for wildlife in this park is really, really nice. And that is one of the really great things about this park. It's family friendly. There are a couple of different trails that you can do here depending on your skill level and how much time that you have. We chose on this morning to do a super easy family friendly hike. We were just doing a 5K out and back. Although I say out and back, you're actually not repeating any path here. You're actually going down on one side of the river here. You can see where you come in and you're gonna go left of the river is what we did, which I would recommend for an early morning hike because of how the sun comes up and the different things that you can see. And then you reach this point where you can either branch off and continue to start gaining elevation or you can turn around, but at this area, you have a really cool spot where they're growing all kinds of endemic species of plants and you have some tortoises, these huge old tortoises. So super fun, everybody loves seeing tortoises. So that's some of the wildlife you can see. It is of course enclosed, but a really fun thing to see while you're here in Mauritius. Some of the things that you can see along your path here, depending on what path you take, would be kestrels. Those are some local birds of prey. You've got deer. You also have the opportunity to see monkeys in this part of the island, as well as some pigs. There's a bunch of things that you can see in this nature park, uh, depending on what time of day you're going, what time of year you're going as well. We were able to see plenty of uh, beautiful flowers along the way and all kinds of fun different things along the path. Even though we didn't see some of the bigger uh, wild animals, it was still a great experience. And because you do have the opportunity to see that here, I'm gonna give this five out of five dodo birds. Five dodo birds. Now, as you may assume for facilities here in a nature park, they have excellent facilities. You've got a parking area with a welcome center uh, right at the beginning there with bathrooms, proper bathrooms and everything, and then a nice path. And as you can see, you, you're gonna follow this path and it. Really, if you're just doing the blue trail, which is what we did, and you have nice maps everywhere helping to guide you along the way. Now, even though the paths are well maintained, you can definitely get some mud in places here. So it does feel like a true honest to goodness hike. We even had a small rain shower just the night before this hike, and there's still several areas that were pretty muddy. And you do cross the stream on some rocks at the uh, halfway point. So just be ready for that. It is not exactly, you know, like wheelchair accessible or anything, but it is definitely accessible for most people. The blue trail is by far the easiest one. It's the one that anybody could do. It's nice and flat, follows the riverbed in this valley. Uh, really beautiful, but then again, you, you cross the river and you come back in a different way. And so you have something new the whole time. It was a great five plus kilometer hike uh, in the morning here. Now you can branch off and you don't actually have to do the whole red trail or the whole yellow trail. You can do sections of them, uh, which I would definitely recommend. You know, again, just depending on how much time you have or how much effort you want to put in on the day. But this is a excellent park very easy to follow the path. There's very clear markings on all of the things. You're really following roads for the most part, like four wheel drive roads on the blue trail. Um, but still there are other offshoots to some other um, event spaces and whatnot, but it's very hard to get lost here as long as you're just paying attention and looking for those signs. So great signage, great facilities. And then of course you've got that uh, kind of 
nature preserve area at the end uh, of the blue path where it's got the tortoises and other stuff there. So it's a really, really well put together facility that's great for anybody. So that gets it five out of five dodo. Five dodo. Finally, we come to the payoff and the payoff on this hike is not everything else that you have in some of our other hikes here. It is, again, you're in a valley, so the payoff is going to be minimal if you're not gaining some of the huge elevation. That said, there are beautiful mountains all around in this area, and gosh, it's really, really beautiful. And actually, at times, it feels like you're almost at higher latitudes and not in the tropics, and then all of a sudden, you come across a massive grove of palm trees and all kinds of different uh, tropical plant life, but it doesn't feel like that way throughout. So there is a lot of diversity in this hike. But if you're staying in the valley itself, the payoff is gonna be minimal, although it's a really, really nice path. Uh, great time for your family and something easy that everybody can do. Uh, took us just over an hour, I think, to do that with all the pictures that we like to take. So a great trip for your family. You can see all kinds of stuff, see some tortoises at the end, or at least at the halfway point. And so I definitely recommend this hike, but I'm not gonna give it the payoff that some of our other amazing 360 views have here in Mauritius. I'm gonna go with two out of five dodo birds. So if you've made it to this nature park or been in this part of Mauritius, I encourage you to please put some comments down below, help everybody else out who wants to explore this beautiful island. As always, make sure to leave this place cleaner than you found it, and we will see you next time.